Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Talking of welcoming people, I have had quite a few new subscribers in the last month or so since I restarted up this channel. And the last time I did a kind of get to know me video slash about me video must have been a good almost four years ago when I first started this channel up. So I thought it was about time I did an updated get to know me tag. I've got all the questions on my phone, so let's begin. The first question is, what is your favorite color? My kind of favorite colors are probably pink, mint green, and kind of gray. I enjoy wearing all those three colors. I like having pink accents everywhere. If it comes in pink, pretty much you can guarantee I am going to buy it. The next question is, who was your first best friend? Now, to do this, we're gonna have to travel all the way back to primary school. My first best friend was a guy called Jake. We were friends all the way through reception up to year six, unfortunately lost contact after that. But he was the first person I could probably count as a best friend. We used to play every playtime. He used to come around my house all the time. And we used to make up all these games. He was just an amazing, incredible guy. And I hope he is doing well with his life now. Third question is, how tall am I? Depending on what shoes I have on and what time of day it is, I am between five foot eight and a half and five foot nine. I did very recently measure as five foot 10, but I had shoes on that had like an inch flat form type thing. So I think that's probably why. So let's give it a good round number of five foot nine. Question number five is cats or dogs. I don't mind either, but I definitely am more a dog person. My grandparents have always had dogs. I generally get on with dogs better. Me and cats kind of have like an understanding. I think we get that we both don't like each other very much, but we will get on for the people that we're around. And I would never harm a cat. I just prefer dogs, they're much cuter and loyal and they like to cuddle. Every cat I've ever tried to stroke just, just not, just hisses at me. We just, me and cats just do not, are not on the same wavelength, put it that way. Favourite perfume. I have a couple that I really enjoy. I don't have one that I go back to very often. I like to change it up. At the moment, I'm still finishing off my bottle of Yves Saint Laurent back opium, but I also really like this Chloe inspired perfume that Nova gave me. Don't know what the name is and it's in my bag somewhere or I think I've left it at work actually saying that, but really like that one. It's kind of like inspired by Chloe perfume and it smells amazing. And I also quite like the Jean-Paul Gaultier classic perfume. Apologies if I just butchered any of the names of all of that because I'm not very good with these fancy names, but those are the three I'm kind of liking at the moment. More of a future question is what would you name your children? I personally don't want my own kids. If I did, I probably would foster or adopt and then they would have their own previous names anyway, but I do already have my dog name decided. I'm gonna call my first dog Atticus. There's a bit of a story behind this, but I would definitely name my first dog Atticus. Another either or question, tea or coffee. I like them both at different times of the day. I'm quite partial to a herbal tea before I go to bed. Teams to sort of settle me and calm me for the night, or if I'm feeling particularly stressed, a chamomile tea just sort of seems to calm me down a little bit. I think it's like a therapeutic thing. Have a nice cup of tea and sort of breathe. And coffee is definitely a must in the mornings, cannot cope without it. And I tend to have about two or three cups a day, which is really bad. Last of the kind of generic about me questions is tell us one of your bad habits. One of my most horrendous habits that I'm really trying to get out of is I am a notorious worrier. I will worry over every single thing. It's just an unfortunate habit of mine and I just cannot seem to break it. This next question I've kind of tied into the last one and that is how long I've had this channel and whether I have had any other channels. I haven't had any other channels, this has been my only one. As I said, started back in 2012. My first sort of two years of this channel is now all privated only because I'm not happy with the standard of videos being out there. They are not great. They are absolutely awful. Maybe one day I might unlist my first video I ever did just as like a nostalgia thing, but no one needs to see my early videos. They are edited awfully, awful quality, and like no one would watch them anymore. So they're for my own private like look back on. And last but not least, the final question of this tag is where do you see yourself and your YouTube channel in the next five years? For my own personal goals, I hope I, in the next five years, will be in a new job. Something a little bit different. I've been in retail for the last seven years, so I kind of fancy a bit of a change. Maybe something to do with human resources, who knows? Um, maybe something to do with costume design. Maybe something one of my hobbies might pick up as something. In terms of this channel, 
I'm just gonna see where it goes. I'm gonna try and upload weekly as much as I can. If it turns into something, then great. If not, it's just me getting some of my creativity out every week. And for anyone who watches this, thank you for sticking around. Talking of that, if you have enjoyed this video or have any further questions for a further Q&A, leave them in the comment box below and make sure you click subscribe so you don't mix my, mix, miss my next video, which is on a Thursday. Although why anyone would is beyond me, but if you do, I would appreciate it very much and I shall see you guys next week. Bye.